Adam Cochran here with Castellini on Computers and HelpMeRick.com. We're going to be talking about Google today, and there's some great features in Google. In fact, there's hundreds of great features in Google, and I would dare say that most of them go unused by the average computer user. Today we're talking about one of my favorite because it's not only fun, but it's extremely useful, and that's Google Images. Just go to Google.com and click on the Images link, or you can just type in the web address images.google.com. Once you're there, you can just type in a word or phrase that you'd like a picture of. The other day, my daughter was wanting pictures of kittens. You can type in kitten, and up come pictures of kittens. You can do the same thing with anything. We'll try Steve Jobs. He's the guy who does Macintosh. Then we can also do uh, dinosaurs. For my son, whatever you may click in there. Once you go to and you find a picture that you want to look at, you can click on it and it will take you to the web link where that picture is found. Then you can click see full sized image to see the actual photograph. Once the photo comes up, you can save it. You can copy it for a Word document or a use like that. You can even do send image. You can do set as desktop background. Most often, all you want to do is save it. Keep in mind that if you do save the image, any use that you have for it may violate uh, copyright laws. You want to make sure that the picture uh, is allowed to be used. Uh, make sure you're not using it for any commercial purpose. And uh, it should be just fine to use it for uh, things like uh, birthday cards, greeting cards, or just to put a picture up by your desk of uh, the dinosaur that you may like or whatever it may be. That's how you use Google Images. We hope you enjoy it. Call the show or uh, check out our website if you'd like to know more about Google Images and other features on Google. Again, that's helpmerick.com and the Castellini on Computers radio show.